and welcome to British Columbia. It is time for back and forth. There's Jason, barbecuing. All right, <laughs> start your fitness tracker. Today we will need a mat. If you have a dumbbell and a kettlebell for your suitcases, we're going to get right to it. Grab your water, start your fitness tracker, and let's begin. If you want music in the background, please go ahead and put on your favorite music. We're going to begin with 20 spider planks. All did right. You me, did you want me to sing for you again? This, uh... Sure, that would be wonderful. All right, so we're coming down to the mat and we're in a high plank. And we're going to alternate, so bring your knee to your elbow, 20. Mama mia, here we go again. True. Mama, how can I get you? How's that? Really good. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good. Please lay on your back. We're going into basic crunches, and we have 40 of them. All right, hands behind your neck, chin up towards the sky, squeeze. Barbecuing up some chicken tonight for you, love. Chicken breast? Yep. Nice chicken breast. You can cut Protein. that up. Put that into your salad for you. Thank you. It's going to be lovely. Squeeze. It's one of my favorite ways to have chicken on the barbecue. I think it's my favorite way to eat in general is barbecue. Mm. Everything tastes better grilled, I would say. Corn. Ooh. Mm. Steak. Mm, oh. Vegetables. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we're halfway. We have 20 more, please. Good work. Keep going. Squeeze. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Such a beautiful evening. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good work. All right, next we're going into alternating toe touches. So we're gonna lay on the mat, bring your toes up to the sky. We're gonna reach 40. Going, reach for your toes. Halfway, 20 more. Ten, nine, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, so we're gonna flip it over onto your hands and knees. We're going into mountain climbers and we're going to be doing 60 of them. All right, are we ready? Let's begin. A little bit faster. Twenty more. Ten, nine, eight, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now, as we know, it's back and core. So we're gonna come up to standing. And if you have one of your lighter Oren bands, let's see, okay, we'll use this one. All right, come on up. Standing nice and tall, we're gonna place your hands inside your Oren band. Now, if you don't have one of the lighter bands, you could also take one of the stronger ones and you can cut it. So then it's one straight band and you can just pull it apart that way, okay? So if you ever have a band that breaks, keep it. They're still very useful 
unless you can still do it then. All right, so we're gonna place your hands inside. We're gonna pull apart. So this is working your upper back as well as your rear delt. You can break for a moment. Good. Three more sets of 10. Here we go. I was going to ask you, Jason. Yes, ma'am. Your favorite forms of lean protein. So you talked about chicken breast. What other foods uh, do you recommend for getting some protein? I, I definitely eat lean chicken breast the most, or mm -hmm. like just chicken breast. It's kind of lean already. Um, I like ground chicken as well. I like ground turkey as well. Yeah. I like extra lean ground beef as well, although it's a little bit more calorie dense, but still very good. Um, you can break for a moment. I like steak. One of my favorites, egg whites. And people like, just eat the egg yolk and, and you know, eat the egg. Now you can do that, that's fine. Uh, for me, when I'm in a calorie deficit, it's crazy how many egg whites you can eat for still so few calories. So one whole egg is 70 calories. Whereas an egg white is only 17 and you're still getting four grams of protein per egg white. So that's one of mine. So I'll just put a bunch of egg whites in a bowl, scramble them up with like salt and pepper. Uh, another thing, vegetables that are super low calorie that you can add to your egg whites. Now you have an egg white omelet. So you've got mushrooms, peppers, uh, onion, garlic, tomato, and you add those veggies in, scramble it up little non-stick spray in your pan and you've got this beautiful egg white omelet that's a perfect like breakfast perfect lunch snack even dinner you could have breakfast for dinner i love that with like a couple original rice cakes breakfast in the morning beautiful keep going Good, break. We have one more set of Oren Band pull apart. Woo! Once we complete this set of 10 Oren Bands, we're going to go into suitcases. Now, if you've done side bends before, you can use a kettlebell, dumbbell, even your Oren Band, which I'm going to show you. All right, here we go. Last set of 10. Nine. We have four more, three more, two, last one, and good. All right, go ahead and set your lighter band down. And now, if you have a heavier band, I'm gonna try the gold band. And again, if you don't have them, message us. We are selling two packs for $25, including shipping and tax. What was that? That was like the, like the, ba -ba -ba -ba, like, like, I don't know, that wow. sound effect, you know, and there's like a deal. Okay, so with our suitcases, you're going to take one of your bands, place it under your shoe or your sock, and pull it over. So we're going to do 20 on each side. So I got a question on one of our YouTube videos last week, and someone said, should we be using our running shoes when we do your home workout? So personally, I think however you prefer to work out is best for you. So if you like to work out in running shoes, wear running shoes. If you prefer bare feet or socks, however you feel your best, that's great. There's even differences amongst us, right? Like you and I and Georgia, I think all prefer running shoes. Unless I'm at the beach and you know what, if I'm in the sand, my shoes are off. But I think even like the whole, like when Daisy does the workout with you, she yeah. oftentimes wears bare feet. Yeah, the, I the used socks. to too because, and Jen Fryer knows this, who I know is going to be doing this workout. Sometimes when you're working outside, your legs get tanned, but then your feet are whiter than Ooh, the clouds. The dreaded sock tan. 
the dreaded sock oh, pants. No. So if you're working out outside, you may want to do it barefoot so oh that you can get your, your feet tan. Mm, I hadn't thought of that. Mm. That's, that's true. One more. Okay, good. Now for the other side, I'm going to use my kettlebell and I'll show that as an option as well. This is a 25 pound kettlebell. All right, so we're bending down to the side and up. You could do side bends like this, like the suitcases, a lot of different ways. Like the Oren bend was mm -hmm. good, the, the kettlebell's good. Even a heavy dumbbell could be used, right? Yeah. Even a weight plate. A plate, yes, is good, yeah. And if you don't have any of those things at home, you could use something else heavy. Paint can, vinegar jug, jug maybe, of water. Maybe a boat anchor. Propane tank. Even some people have taken like a backpack and they filled it full of stuff, um, like a bag of rice or a bag of potatoes you could use. So many options. So many options. All the way down and all the way up. I think I just heard a peacock. All the way down and all the way up. Our next exercise, 10 burpees with a plank jack. So go ahead and set your your weight down. All right, so you can either do the caterpillar with the plank jack, which I'll show you first. So you're gonna stand and walk your hands out. And then if you can, jack, and then walk your hands back up. And if you're able, we'll make it a burpee. So we're gonna jump, jack, in, back up for 10. Down, jack. And up. Okay. Five more. Four more. Keep going. Three. Two more. Last one. Good. All right. Whew. We're going to come down to the mat. We're going into jack knife. And if you prefer, you can make it a leg raise, hands underneath your lower back. All right, so I'm going to be using my dumbbell, placing it here. Now my arms are straight, my legs are straight. And I'm bringing that dumbbell up towards my shins and then back down. Try and press your back into the mat. Try not to let your body arch. And remember to breathe, inhale and exhale. Good, are you feeling that burn in your abs? All right, we have 10 more. 10, nine, how are you enjoying your aura ring, Jason? Oh, it's charging right now. Thank you for reminding me, let me go grab it. It's probably charged. Four, three, Two, last one, and good. All right, if you need more time on any of these exercises, please feel free to pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Our next exercise is a tuck-in. So we're gonna lay on your mat, hands underneath your lower back, and we're bringing your knees into your chest, and then extend out, in. Good. We're doing 20 of these. Making sure to squeeze. We have 10 more. My hat's falling off for 10. I'm not 
not sure why I wore my hat for this class because the sun has pretty much gone down now, but oops. Keep going five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And good. All right, please come on to your hands and knees again. And we're going into the plank walkout. So it's a high plank position. Come up to your toes. And we're going to alternate stepping out. So out, in, out, and in. Out and in. So planks are great for strengthening your lower back, your core, your shoulders. And we have 10 more, please. 10, nine, you're doing great. Eight, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, we're gonna come up to standing and we're going into a bent over row. So we have 12 bent over row. Now you can use a barbell or dumbbells I have dumbbells here. All right, so keeping your back nice and straight, and we're gonna pull those dumbbells or barbell, the weight back towards your belly button. We have 10 more. 10, nine, eight. You can just look down at your feet. We have 10 more on this side, please. 10. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good work. All right, we're switching over. So opposite hand or elbow to opposite knee. And begin for 20. smell the barbecue right now. It smells really good. Woo! Ten more. Working our core, our abs, our obliques. Eight. Seven. Five. Four. Keep going. Three. Two. Last one. And good work. All right, we're gonna come down to the mat. We have 40 weighted crunch. Now, when you're doing the weighted crunch, it doesn't have to be a super heavy weight. It could be three, four, five, up to like 10 pounds is good. Some people prefer to hold it in the front. I feel it more in my abs when I place it behind my head. And then I squeeze up four sets of 10. If the weight's too much, you can do a basic crunch, a butterfly crunch. There's 10, we have 30 more. Good. 
Good, 20 more, halfway. Breathe and close your eyes. We have one more set of 10. Mind to muscle, squeeze those abs for 10. Five more, five, four, three, two, last one, and good. All right, set that weight down. Ooh, nice job. All right, we are going to come up to standing and we have 10 deadlifts. So again, you can use a barbell or dumbbells or a kettlebell or even your orange band. Very important to keep your back straight. Keep the weight nice and close to your shins as you hinge at the hips of 10. Breathe. We have five more. Five more, five, four, three, two, last one. Woo! Good job. All right, excellent. You have just completed one full round of our back and core workout. Please go back to the top and repeat one or two more times and make sure to stretch. Catch your breath, grab a drink of water. Whew. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed this workout. Have a phenomenal day.